Cool way to get students interested in offshore energy, that's for sure. Well, how about yeah. wind around here today, Laura? Yeah, not too windy out there uh, today, but beautiful weather. And let's do a quick wrap up. Uh, uh, April, okay? And you can see uh, the 80s we're experiencing right now, not the warmest. The warmest over in April was 89 degrees. On the 15th, the coldest 36 was our morning low. And then, of course, the rain were well below uh, the average monthly. Uh, you can see needing we're two and a half inches below where we should have been in april so hopefully we can make up for that here in may it was the second warmest on record april that is eighth driest on record we'll get an update the drop monitor on tomorrow morning and we'll keep you posted on that it looks like we get some better rain chances moving into may the month ahead as you can see we our average is right now 77 but we'll end the month with average highs in the lower 80s but we're already experiencing those high temperatures we gained 45 minutes of daylight this a month. Those sunrises will drop down to near just before 6 a.m. by the end of the month, and it's the busiest tornado month of the year. And so, certainly, also a month away today from hurricane season, and so we want to get prepared for that for sure. Live outside, our Whitley Law from Weather Cam Network uh, looking pretty as ever. We've got some clouds growing overhead. As you can see, those temperatures already closing in on 80 degrees here at lunchtime. It is a beautiful afternoon. Keep an eye to the sky. We'll have uh, a few briefish showers, isolated storms develop mainly south and east of our area. But temperatures in the low to mid 80s this afternoon, again, well above the average of 77. And tell you what, this is the fifth day in the 80s in a row uh, so far. We're going to keep it going through the rest of of the week, even 90s on the 10 day, also going up slightly. The dew points measure of moisture. It's starting to feel a little muggy out there, and it's really going to spike as we get into next week. Area of high pressure, hot high is getting ready to move eastward right over us. We've got a little disturbance aloft that's moving across our area, and that's what's going to help maybe to trigger a few showers and storms here this afternoon. So you can see visible satellite showing some of those uh, clouds starting to develop southeast of Raleigh along that boundary. Otherwise, seeing plenty of sunshine here today. That's going to help to fuel some of those showers and storms. Most of the activity, though, will remain to our east towards the coast. Most of you staying dry, but you can see some of those will develop here this afternoon, early evening, and then quieting down overnight. Mainly clear skies. Tomorrow's going to be a beautiful day. Plenty of sunshine, but hot near 90 degrees. Our next system we're watching for some better rain chances is this weekend. A weak cold front rain and storms likely mainly looking like late Saturday into Sunday. Now early next week trending wetter as well up to an inch possible long range models as you can see just keeping us really on and off uh, wet through the day late Saturday into Sunday. And so you can see that here. And we'll have better uh, look, look and details with uh, the timing of this rain and exactly uh, the confidence low. It will continue to grow as we get high resolution data uh, into our weather center. Just, uh, just keep looking for the forecast as we fine tune those details this weekend. Uh, looks like, again, the better chance will be late Saturday and to Sunday, not raining the entire time, but definitely unsettled. Temperatures, as you can see, climbing next week, upper 80s. And then we already have 90s on the 10 day. We haven't hit 90 yet so far in central North Carolina uh, this season. So we could do that. Looks like their next Wednesday and Thursday, some of the hottest air this season will arrive with morning temps near 70 degrees. Ooh, it is going to be hot out there. And it will be humid too. Bill's favorite. Oh, <laughs> it was going to happen eventually. Yeah. Okay. All right, Laura, thank you.